Hello everybody, welcome back. Good to see you all here. It's nice to see all the old subscribers back. If you are new here, we are happy to see you here. And we welcome you on this channel. And today, I'm gonna take you to Taidong Market. But, on the way to Taidong Market, I'm gonna try find these hidden little alley markets, because you always get them on the way to Taidong. And then we're going to see what we can find there. Now, here's the mission for today. The mission is we are going to buy anything we see that is cool. Now, here's the cool thing. When you go to these markets, you never know what you need or what you're going to buy <laughs> until you get into the markets. But this is a pretty cool area. Check it out. So there's a there's an alley, I'm sure. Let's make our way over here. I'm going to keep the camera rolling that you guys can see what I see this is in Qingdao my friends my city pretty pretty cool a lot of small shops on the side obviously you can see we're approaching a market when you see all sorts of stuff outside and uh, a lot of activity on cars whoa there we go there we go now this is what I was talking about one of these hidden little market alley streets and uh, let's see what we can buy well as I told you guys you never know what you need till you hear and I think let's start off by getting myself a pair of stocks let's see what's inside here some underwear all sorts of stuff for the ladies but I want some socks some white socks yeah <laughs> uh, well y'all Jigger Baisada. Baisa. Shukwaichen. Shukwaichen. So 10 RMB for a pair of white socks. I'm gonna get myself white socks. Um Waya. Waya. Jigakai. Uh Waisim Jafu Kaima. Uh Baida. Uh Jafu La. Alright, she's gonna get me a pair of socks in the back. As I told you guys, that didn't take long. Um, I'm at the beginning, as you can see, of this side alley market. And I already buy myself a pair of socks. And I really need a pair of socks. <laughs> Alright, now that is a surprise. Um, I didn't get what she was telling me. But I paid 10 RMB and I get three pairs of socks. What a bargain. Let's see what we can find. We can still see a lot of Chinese New Year decorations hanging oh this is a sweet shop uh, because the Chinese festival just finished <laughs> some stationery shop here oh here's some food hello hello here 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 ah all right, so we're inside the market now and there's a lot of stuff. Let's explore. Who's this guy making some food? Oh, it's a girl, a woman. Nice. Hey, hello. Holy cow, look at all these clocks. Anything you can think of, you can get in these markets, I promise you. And we will find more stuff to buy. So. tea bottles brooms if you need all sorts of stuff ladies and gentlemen check this out this is interesting these are fake flowers and uh, fake decorations for your house but it still looks pretty cool hey niha very beautiful look at all these chilies <laughs> i'll definitely get some of these for my house wow do you get your ah Onions, apples, sunflower. Very nice. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Some tea over here. Check us your chart, day. Look at this in this market. You get all this kind of stuff. This is pretty interesting, right? <laughs> Lotterers, stay away. No smoking. Be careful with your head. 
general manager i should get myself one of these anyway my friends we are on our way to taidong so uh, i quickly wanted to take a detour through these hidden alley markets as you see right here but yeah let's go find taidong and uh, get something to snack on because that's definitely what i'm gonna buy something to snack on and uh sit right next to the to the road and try something some street food or whatever so let's go check it out what is this let's go in here whoa stationary how cool is this so this shop literally connects you to that whole market there in that hidden alley <laughs> pretty awesome ladders all sorts of stuff you can get here right but yeah my friends let's go get ourselves to taidong market grab something to snack on maybe something to drink and walk through that market all right my friends we want to go there taidong commercial walking street and uh, i'm gonna find a, a way in for us um, around here somewhere this market is the biggest market here in Qingdao and yeah you know I say this a lot but ladies and gentlemen listen all cities in China are cool make no mistake but Qingdao my friends Qingdao just have this charming amazingly I don't know it's got this effect on me I just love this city ladies and gentlemen we've made it to Taidong walking street look at this and it's still early but you can see a lot of people walking up and down here shopping buying all sorts of stuff it's just crazy in this market at night times you can't even walk that's why i came this time to show you guys how it looks like so feast your eyes on the biggest market street walking market in Qingdao, china look at this let's make our way in here it looks like there's a lot of people here that means there are food so let's go find some snacks some corn some chicken sea fish seafood crab on a stick i kind of know what i'm looking for i want i want candy it's like a strawberry dunked in a syrup but i need to find it first i always see those stuff and now that i'm looking for it i can't find it wait 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 this this may be it yeah it's this but i need the strawberry one they don't have the strawberry damn all right my friends i just spotted one of those little cards there with the candy that i want i want the strawberry one let's see if we can get one for me i hope they do have it i haven't seen a lot of strawberry lately yes they do this is by far my most favorite candy here in china hey now you got to do it look i we are eager to go my friends i got it i got it i got it <sighs> oh yeah i don't know if you guys ever tried this but this is just insanely insanely tasty mm. holy cow it's madness over here and it's so early as i keep telling you guys normally it gets way more busier than this if night time arrives look at this mm -hmm. the only thing about the snack is i never eat that tomato there at the bottom i don't eat tomato man so there we go super tasty six rmb but i don't do that tomato i think next up is a clothing shop let's go into a clothing shop and see the prices over there i don't know what this is people are going down here 
So uh, let's maybe go see what is going on here. I'm going to keep rolling that you guys see what I see. Wow, okay. All right, all right. Yeah. So this is, this is obviously a clothing area, but it's like underground. And already looking at the prices, this is cheap stuff, man. I mean, look at this. And this is good quality. These uh, jumper jackets type of thing, 45 RMB. And this is crazy. That's what I told you guys in my mall video. I buy my clothes in shops like this. It's good quality. It's cheap. And it's goddamn beautiful. Right, oh gang, look at this. I'm going to buy this Nike jumper. Looks pretty nice. It looks like it's going to fit me. It's a 5XL. And this is 59 RMB, my friends. 59 RMB for this jumper. Obviously, it's not real, but who the hell cares? Are you gonna see this is not real? <laughs> There's some Puma over there. So let's go buy this for me. Yeah, we're wasting your for Kaiba. This is how much? For. For. There we go, guys. 59 RMB for a nice. Nice. For a nice Nike jumper. Right, so we got three pairs of socks. One black sexy jumper, Nike jumper. Some of my favorite candy. Let's continue this hunt. How cool is this? My friends, listen. Although this is a walking street with some counterfeit products, an awful a lot of snacks and street foods. You do get the uh, legit shops here like Huawei, Lining, that is my favorite, favorite, favorite Chinese sports brand. And uh, all sorts of stuff right here in this market. That is what makes this market so powerful. Because you can literally choose how you want to buy, what you want to buy, and when you want to buy it. All right, my God, I just walked past another one. And I think I'm going to get myself another one of these because they are just amazingly delicious i'll get myself this hey niha we are eager do it then all right my friend so this one was a little bit more expensive this one was 10 rmb you see it's exactly the same it even got the tomato little part there at the bottom but there's a reason why this one is a little bit more expensive and the reason is those ladies are in the square, right in the walking street. So they pay rent to operate their shop there. Whereas the other guy, the first guy that I bought this candy from, was literally just outside the market. So it's not really a scam or a ripoff. Um, it's because this is actually the price of these things. Normally they go up to 15 RMB. So anyway. Mm. Mm. I just can't stop myself from eating this stuff. I just found the coolest and best shop. Look at this. And uh, this is the closest I'm going to get to South African no, no, jerky. No. So I'm definitely going to get some of this. Miha, we are going to get some of this. We are going to get So I just thought I want some hot jerky. Like I tell you, this is the closest as what I'm going to get to South African jerky here in China. Uh, we call it Bolton, so by the way. So I'm going to get myself one of these. And I just tasted this crackling. And my gosh, guys, trust me, it's really good. Bye bye, bye bye. Right, so guys, I got some snacks. And I'm going to sit here and eat them. I just think we need a cool drink. Um, that shouldn't be too hard. I'll get a cool drink soon, but first let's sit down and try this, the snacks, yeah? So I got myself some jerky and some, some crackling, some pork crackling. And the price was 54 RMB because I got myself a ton of these things. I love it. I really love it. So yeah, let's dig in. Yeah, yeah, this is really good. Check this out. Mmm. And like I say, this is the closest I'm going to get to South African jerky here in China. This is really good. You can see a lot of people busy making their way to this market. I wonder how many money per day 
is spent in this market alone if you know in the comment section you tell me down below i don't know i'm not even going to take a guess but you guys take a guess down in the comment section how many money one day is spent right in this area this market area the food the clothing the everything right so let's try this cracking oh yeah oh yeah oh <laughs> This is the best snack to snack on, man. All right, my friends, we've got a situation here. As much as delicious as that jerky was, my mouth is literally on fire. Oh my God, I underestimate. I underestimated that that spicy one. My mouth is burning. We need to get cool drink or something as soon as possible. Oh, doy doy doy, sisha sisha. All right, Jesus, guys, let's get this cool drink in my mouth right now all right guys it's really difficult opening this cola with my hand so i'm gonna put you down my god right so let's do this listen i'm not even kidding or over exaggerating that jerky was hot delicious but my god three quite for this for this Lao Shan Coke. Happy people, friendly people hanging out here in the market. Spending their money. Right, so I'm better, so let's continue. What is this? There's a lot of people lining up at this shop. So I'm sure this shop has got some good reviews amongst the people. Let's go see what it is. What are they eating here? What is this? Oh, so it's fried chicken. Fried chicken, yeah, that's kind of a popular thing here in China. Some lotto tickets. Let's get some lotto tickets. Anyhow, why are you going to get this? Why are you going to get this? Why are you all right, guys, let's try to get lucky. Hi, Ni Hao. Hi, Hao. Yes, lottery. Are we going to win? Let's win. <laughs> let's win. Uh, let's be lucky, my friend. Let's be lucky. All right, we've got our lotto ticket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly take you guys. We're going to walk through the street. And at the end of this video, I'm going to scratch this card. And let's see if we won something. If we won, I'll rush back here to collect my money. So yeah, let's walk through this market, finish off this video and scratch this card. Alright, so I found the best spot to do the scratch card thing. And it's right here on the bridge, overlooking Taidong Market over there. Look how beautiful it is, my friends. And uh, yeah, as I told you, these are apartments people live in. Just look at how nice they made these buildings this artwork on these buildings so pretty but in any way let's see if we just became millionaires my friends so by the way i just realized i will not even know if i want something and also i had nothing to scratch this with so i picked up this stone let's just see you guys are my proof for if i want something and i don't even know it but uh let's do this Let's get rich. It's kind of hard scratching these cards with a camera between my legs. I look kind of funny and everyone is staring at me. <laughs> but who cares? I want you guys to see this. I don't know if we want anything. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I should go ask that guy. I'll go ask him and I'll let you guys know in another video. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this walk through the uh, market with me. And uh, if you did, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's very important. Also the like button. And thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. And hey, before you go, you can support this channel. All the links are in the description. There's some buy me a coffee links patreon links all sorts of stuff go check it out anyway i'm gonna let you go from the beautiful city of Qingdao, the walking street of taidong 
I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.